Uh, Ampere A100 is an SXM4 based add in card destined for the data center and supercomputers. And this is probably a little disappointing to the gamers out there, especially given the arguably misleading title on today's WAN show, but we're actually referring to something else, oh, not something this. Else. Yeah. That's right, there's there's more and it's true. Um, so disappointing to those folks is uh, the fact that this is not a desktop based debut for Ampere in the form of the RTX 3000 series. That's what we're assuming it's gonna be called, but it does give us at least some hints as to what we can expect from an Ampere based GPU. So there's a few things that we can talk about with the A100 first. It can efficiently scale to thousands of GPUs or be partitioned into seven GPU instances using multi-instance GPU or, I love this, MIG technology. You want to use some MIG technology there, Luke? Uh, yeah, dude. NVIDIA is claiming a six times performance improvement out of the box in BERT deep learning training over previous generation Volta GPUs and up to 20 times higher performance in tensor float precision workloads with an additional 2x boost using mixed precision and 16-bit floating point. And you know what? Even like two weeks ago, I probably would have said, gee, NVIDIA, thanks for, you know what, let's, let's say a month ago, let's say a month ago. I probably would have said, gee, NVIDIA, thanks for all the AI bull that you're putting into your consumer graphics cards that I honestly have no use for like where's my frames per second right but in the last three weeks alone i have seen let me let me just try and think i have seen three or it's not three weeks but whatever the last month or so i have seen three very compelling uses for their ai on the desktop first of all dlss 2.0 is way better than dlss gen 1. it actually doesn't suck now like you can run a game at a lower resolution and it will FACO upscale itself in a way that is shockingly convincing. Number one, right there. Number two, I watched them use their deep learning upsampling on the shield to make 1080p content look not quite native 4K, but boy, is it close to the point where, you know, if it was, it, it, I, I don't know, it's like this weird fine line because there's the people who would not never notice the difference between 1080 and 4K anyway, and then there's the people who would notice the difference between 4K and this upscaled stuff. And I would say that NVIDIA's upsampling is going to appeal to kind of 80% of the people who could tell the difference, but aren't like that sensitive, if that kind of makes sense. Do you, do you, do you catch my drift? So you're, yeah. it's not going to make any difference for the people who just couldn't tell it all anyway. But for everyone who could tell, I think you could take most of that chunk and say, yeah, they're going to they're gonna be convinced by their AI upscaling. And then the big one is, of course, RTX Voice. Now, RTX Voice absolutely diarrheaed all over itself for my stream yesterday, but I'm not going to blame RTX Voice for that um, because I think it might have actually been to do with the fact that I was running my RTX GPU in a Thunderbolt enclosure that also had USB ports on it that I also had additional capture devices running through because blah, 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 long story, I didn't have enough Thunderbolt ports and I had too many capture devices for the stream. Um, so, you know, that was a problem, but RTX Voice, the way that it blocks out background noise absolutely freaking fantastic and i am i am legitimately excited to see what kind of ai tricks nvidia can pull out of their butts and uh work into my desktop experience uh what else is going on here uh, additional 2x boost using mixed precision and 16-bit floating point blah 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 NVIDIA also claims that for other high-performance compute applications, new double-precision tensor cores enable a reduction of a 10-hour simulation on Volta to 4 hours on Ampere. And compared to Volta, Ampere has 35% more CUDA cores. Now that is going to translate directly to gamers. 78% higher memory bandwidth. That's going to be good for gamers. Double the NVLink links. Probably less applicable for gamers. SLI is dead. <laughs> and is on the 7 nanometer TSMC node. So we should expect potentially higher clock speeds and a better efficiency. Um, let's see if there's just anything else that you guys will actually kind of care about here. The expansion of tensor core capabilities, blah, 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 better deep learning capabilities. Oh yeah, okay, so Anthony threw in some, some commentary about how, yes, this better AI could mean more technologies like deep learning super sampling, but I already, I already talked about that, which is cool. So Luke, place your bet. How long is it going to be before we get a desktop Ampere graphics card and you're ready to upgrade to Turing because everybody's offloading their Turings? <laughs> Holiday? 
You think you think holiday this year? I you know I I was really I I don't know. Wow, you have so much confidence because I I was kind of all over the place on this one. I was thinking either like a month from now because Nvidia has done that before. Yeah, like gone yeah. new GPU, new GPU, new GPU, new GPU, like all the way down the family kind of four to six weeks apart. They've they've pulled that move. Um yeah. but then I was also kind of thinking, well, they don't have a competitor That's at all. That's why I pushed it out further. right now. Like they could yeah. just wait till next year for all they care realistically. So, so you say holiday. Do you, do you care okay, care to name it care to name a month? I want to hear it. What month? November. You say November. Okay. So, are they going to try to hit hol- why would you try to hit holiday? Why? What's your motivation? So you're Jensen. My, my... You're Jensen Huang. You're wearing a leather jacket. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go. I've you know. Put I'm yourself in, in character. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> incredibly beautiful stonework around my incredible <laughs> stove behind me. Yeah. Is just glowing in the sunlight, uh, and I'm telling my team that I think we should wait for holiday because uh, no competition right now, and uh, the COVID grab to buy pc parts i haven't looked into it but i'm assuming it's starting to slow down a bit um and now we might be settling into a lower funds across the board state for covid so people like the the purchasing of these parts might be going down Uh, i'm not sure these are these are assumptions that i'm making right now sure he would know though just for painting the scene sure yeah 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 he's you're in the character you got to get in character yeah yeah yeah, okay yeah um, and then I would I would aim for this holiday, not for next year, because uh, I mean you might as well. Yeah, November, holidays, so right? you can kind of line up with the the early enough purchases for people that are going to be buying relatively early for potential Christmas stuff. Um, and I think people are a little bit looser with their wallets around that time, anyways. Can I give my guess for why I now that you've said holiday, I 100% agree with you that that's what they're they're going to do. Okay. Yeah, I think I think he wants to crap on the upcoming console launches because he, he's already talked some smack. We've heard Big Jensen brain. talk smack about how like, yeah, that performance tier has existed for a while. It's called an RTX 2080, LOL. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think there's, there's some more smack talk we're going to talk about later on in this show. But yeah, honestly, that's a big one too. Yeah, I would I would definitely I'm on board with that. I think he's the kind of reason. character, you know, he's got it. Remember, he's got his leather jacket. OK, I think yeah. he's the kind of character yeah. that would want to get on stage and say, hey, cool, cute console. That's nice. Good job. Um, you know, if you want something twice as powerful, Team Green, you know, suck yeah. us. He would absolutely love to do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sure he'd be into that. That's some strong logic. I like it. I do have a, a quick super chat that I need to read. Um, the real smiley says, "Don't waste your money on a super chat. It will not be acknowledged, even a fifty dollars one." I did it to test to see on his last live stream. First time I've ever paid money to comment. Well, how dumb of me. You're welcome. So yeah, I didn't see your super chat, but I did see that. So now <laughs> there you go. There's your shout out, smart guy. How you feel now? 